Welcome back. Um, today we're going to be talking about convection currents. Um, so what I've already got out here are the traditional convection tubes. Um, these can be found on Amazon, uh, eBay, um, or if uh, if you're running low on resources, can even be made with a two liter bottle by opening up the bottom half of the bottle uh, to be able to make this work. The other things you'll need are a couple of tea light candles, uh, a couple of buckets with ice. Uh, you need to have a lighter and then the punk sticks. Now, the punk sticks are also known as the fireworks lighters. Um, they'll just keep a constant uh, stream of smoke flowing. Um, one of the things to consider as well are students with allergies in this lab. So if you have a lot of kids with asthma, um, you may want to look at an alternative. You may want to see the link for the second video using dry ice as opposed to the punk stick um, if you have students with asthma. Um, and then also because we're using fire and it has the smoke, having a nice aluminum tray handy so that you um, are able to have a place to rest um, your punk stick um, in between the different trials. So the first thing that we're going to do is observe how the air moves above a warm surface. So the first thing that we'll need to do is light up one of our votive candles and then we will just put the convection tube directly above it. Making sure that your punk stick is still lit, there is an opening at the bottom in which you'll be able to insert the punk stick. And with a flashlight, you'll be able to observe what is happening to the smoke above the warm surface. So as the air above the candle is warmed up, it rises up with the smoke. Now, if we look at the same concept, but with ice underneath, now your surface temperature is cold. The air above that temperature is going to be cold as well. So as the warm smoke rises up, it begins to cool down and you can see that a lot of the smoke will either linger within or turn around and begin to descend back into the convection tube. Now the movement of the smoke has also slowed down tremendously compared to how quickly it was moving over the candle. And even here on the bottom, you can see that there's a lot more circulating and remaining at the bottom than did on the warm side. However, when air masses of similar and different temperatures meet, they can react differently as well. So this time we're going to heat up another candle and now we're gonna connect the two warm air masses together. So between the convection tubes, I just added a small little connector tube so that now both of them are connected together. Once I add the punk stick above, well, same thing, the air above it is already warm, so it pushes that smoke right back up. If I try it on the other one that has a, a candle on top of it, you see the same thing. Some of the smoke is still holding down because I had the ice in there. And as that candle warms up the air, it will push that smoke right back up through the top again. All right, part two of the convection currents. We already saw how the smoke moves above a warm surface, a cold surface, and then when two warm air masses collide. Now I've gotten ice underneath both of these. So now we're simulating two cold air masses meeting together. Um, so once again, we'll put the 
punk stick over here at the top. You can see as the smoke comes in, the cold air below it is actually pulling the smoke down towards the ice. Now, once the smoke gets down to the bottom, it slows down even more, and that is where it lingers. Now, the same thing would happen if I move it over to the other side. I can fill the second tube up with smoke, and as the cold air below it cools the air above it, it too begins to pull that smoke down as well. So we're seeing the same thing happening again on the other side. But my favorite part of this activity is when you actually get those contrasting air masses together. So when you have warm air on one side connected to the cold air on the other side. So once you connect the two convection tubes, you can actually get your punk stick and you move it over into the cold side. And you can see that now it is getting pulled down with a lot greater force. So as that smoke descends, most of it is lingering over here. And you can see near this tube, it is starting to get pulled in into the warm side. The warm air pulls in the cold air as it is replacing the air above it. The air above the candle is rising up and it pulls in the cold air from the other chamber in to replace it. Therefore, it is descending on the cold side and rising on the warm side.